Hello again, this is Captain John with another one of my video tips of the week. In today's video tip, I'm going to show you 10 ways you can improve sailing or cruising safety when you encounter low visibility conditions, stop or slow down your boat, and move outside of shipping lanes if necessary, anchor if in shoal water, or stop and drift or heave to. Take a bearing or series of bearings to nearby objects to confirm your position. Turn the bow and sight over the compass at a nearby light, tank, spire, antenna, or other aid to navigation, and plot this position onto your chart. Record your depth and compare it to the plotted position. Make your course runs between two aids to navigation or landmarks shorter in low visibility conditions. That way you can verify your position more often under sail or power. Make sound equipped aids to navigation like a bell, gong, whistle, or horn as your primary targets. You will often hear these unique aids from a distance long before you sight them with your eyes. Set your safe water keel clearance at two times your loaded draft. If you carry six feet of draft, then you should stay in water at least 12 feet deep in low visibility conditions for safety. Energize navigation lights based on your status. Vessels under sail show side lights and stern light. If under power or power and sail, add a masthead light. And if at anchor, show an all-around white light forward. Sound the proper fog signals to warn others of your position. The navigation rules describe the duration of a blast as either short, which is about one second duration, or prolonged, which is about four to six seconds duration. Vessels under sail sound one prolonged blast followed by two short blasts every two minutes. Vessels under power or power on sail and making way through the water sound one prolonged blast every two minutes. If you are under power and not making way through the water, which means drifting, then you sound two prolonged blasts every two minutes. Vessels at anchor in an authorized or designated anchorage area are not required to sound signals. If anchored in waters outside of a designated anchorage, and if you are less than 20 meters, you sound some signal to attract attention every two minutes. Have all hands wear PFDs equipped with whistles and lights. Station a lookout forward in the quieter part of the vessel away from the engine, and remember the three E's of lookouts, eyes, ears, and electronics if installed and operable. If you have the room and it's safe to do so, you might turn your boat in a tight circle at high speed, then stop and listen. Your wake could activate a wave-actuated buoy such as a bell, gong, or whistle. Proceed at the slowest practical speed. If at any time you are unsure of your position, move outside the channel and anchor the boat. This will lower the stress and fatigue of being underway and allow your crew to rest. Use these 10 easy sailing and navigation tips to keep you and your sailing crews safe and sound when sailing or cruising in low visibility conditions. This is Captain John, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more sailing tips and techniques on www.skippertips.com.